Hello. Hello. Testing. Anybody there? What's up, world? Back with more Fallout 4, and I am going to travel to Diamond City and learn more about finding my baby boy, Sean. And, of course, dog meat is with me. Alright, I'm just going to make sure I'm going the right direction. So here's Diamond City. Yep. I'm headed right for it. And there's no telling what I'll come across before I get there. Yeah. No, don't drink. A boat. Blood leaf. I wonder if I should even take it. I did. I was hesitant because it probably has so much radiation on it. Oh, I shouldn't be in this water. What is that? I want to get on the boat and explore this a little bit. Because it looks like a dolphin. Oh crap, can I not get on there? Oh, I can. Ah, oh, jeez. Look at the dolphin uh, was mutated too. Get this away. Come on, get out of here, dog meat. So I need to bend slightly to the left. <clears throat> so I'm pretty much heading the same way that uh, I did uh, when I was going to fight those raiders. So I'm going to listen to that um, military um, message, whatever it is. Um, oh, fire support. Alright, listen to military frequency. AF95. Okay, how do I listen to it? Is this it? Alright, alright, I don't hear anything though.
let's find out what Danny Kaye knows about civilization. I mean, or something. Okay, so I don't need to listen to that. I thought I was get some intel before going into Diamond City. Oh, who's fighting? I think the uh, raiders and diamond guards are fighting. Who's this? Oh, scavenger. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. They don't work out too well. It's going to let them shoot each other. I gotta hang a sharp left here. Gonna have to go through this uh, torn city with raiders, scavengers, and gunners killing each other and not hesitating to kill me. What was that? This is where it recently was. Is this a tunnel? Hangman's Alley. I like the name of it. We can talk. Craft. Okay, I can craft something. Baked balut fly, blood bug steak, yummy, crispy squirrel bits. Wow. I don't have anything. Wait a minute, I do. Iguana on a stick. I'm just gonna have to explore before I starve. Or I can trade. I'll take, I'll take a look. Sure. Giddy up, Buttercup. Hmm. Well, it doesn't have anything. I think I'm going to have to hang a ride up here somewhere. Oh, 
Oh shit. the hell did I not damage him? Gotcha. We uh, heal. There you go. Dog meat stem pack. this guy. Grenades to impact good stuff here. Alright, dog meat. Pee on him. Take some of that. Sugar bombs. Those are helpful. Tower radio signal tests. Hidden. Where am I hidden from? I think I need to go this way. Yes, yeah, so Diamond City's a little further to the right. What is this? This is an interesting looking machine. Oh, milk. Sorry. Baseball 176 News of Boston Tradition. Ah, am I near Fenway? Wait a minute, is this Fenway Park? So Fenway Park, uh, if you're not familiar with, is uh, the baseball stadium the Boston Red Sox playing. 
I think so. Or maybe not. So far in the future, Boston has changed so much I don't even see it. That's a big dude. And he has... blowtorch or something. Alright, so let me uh, see if I can match him here. Oh, cocktail. That's what he has. Oh shit, stim pack, stim pack. Take the med X. Fuck is that? Is that a, that's a turret, isn't it? Don't know. I <laughs> really don't know what that is. It didn't shoot me, so it's a good thing. All right, here's Diamond City. The check in. <coughs> what do you mean you can't open the gate? Stop playing around the gate. I'm standing out in the open here crying out. I got orders not to let you in, Piper. Sorry. Just my job. I feel ya. Open the gates. You. You want any message? Yes. What? What's that? You said you're a traitor up from Quincy. You have enough supplies to keep General Store stock for a whole month. You hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be one talking the crazy bird about losing out on all the supplies? Jeez, all right. Maybe it hurt us. Give me a minute. Better be as good as you can do. City, the big monster it is. <laughs> oh, look, I hate it. You'll see for yourself soon enough. Let's go. Man, I'm gonna take this gas mask off. It looks ridiculous here. What about the rest of this place? Who's that? Ted Williams?
See if the guards will talk to me. Story of the century, go to Piper's office. This looks like it's inside um, Fenway Park, sure enough. I see some of the, uh, I see remnants of old Fenway. Got the Your fellow concession tonight. stand. Oh, damn. I want to see the green monster, if they still have the green monster up, which is uh, the baseball wall. At Fenway Park. Which is now Diamond City. Wow.
Alright, so I've got to go to Piper's office. around here. Someone gets taken by the Institute or gets killed by a raider. Which is worse. At least it's inside these walls, you don't have to worry about the raider. So what brings you to the great green jewel? I'm looking around for something. Are you all, sir? But I'm guessing you're looking for something more specific. My son was kidnapped. His name is Sean. Your boy has gone missing? That's terrible. I'm afraid missing people don't get found in Diamond City. God seems to have turned a blind eye to them. And with all the fear of the Institute in people's hearts, they've turned a blind eye as well. Hmm. I'm lost, Pastor. I need help. Please. Well, I don't want to get your hopes up, but there is someone who might be able to help. Nick Valentine, he's a detective. Saved a lot of lives over the years, but so many more stay missing. The trouble has a habit of sticking to him. Nick Valentine, what's his story? You know the story of the Good Samaritan? Helps a man. To? Well, I suppose you could say that Nick Valentine is living that parable out. Thanks. I'll go talk to him. Take care of yourself now. One of those things, it's that secretary of his, her and her perfect hair. Mm-hmm. The mayor's secretary. Come on. Up out. Uh, I have hair myself, Get and I know human hair. That's just it, Johnny. You wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Hey there. Around here, you we call your haircut with your razor. the scab He'd special. A little Don't flex of blood, give it a personal touch. You should think about getting a trip. Sure. Maybe a new color, huh? Sit down. Let's take a look. Can a woman have some peace? 
We're looking for a haircut. The salon's open in the morning. Excuse me. I'm done working for the day. Get lost. She must go on. Do yourself a favor and just say yes. It's all he understands. Yes? Takahashi. Newcomer, huh? Talk to Abbott at the wall, if you want a history lesson. Oh, sorry, I had my mic off. Alright, so I'm looking for my noodles that I just bought. Miscellaneous? Aid? Weapons? Noodles are weapons? There it is. Where the hell? Alright, so I got three noodle soups. Except... Fallen. So I guess I should go to um, what's her name's office first. Hmm. After I eat something. What else do I have there? Home plate requires a key. I want to buff out, man. Ooh, iguana. Hey, 
That explore the combat zone. So is this the combat zone? Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed by Diamond City that I forgot the lady's name of who I was supposed to go meet. I'm going to explore this combat zone first. See what's down there. So I feel a lot safer in Diamond City than I do out there in the streets, obviously. Yeah, let's just back outside. Wait a minute. I'm not supposed to go the other way. Who does he think he is? The baseball bat. Standing like that. Wade Boggs? Ted Williams? Yes. Thank you. He's concerned about me. Get out of the market. Why? Dugout. I am in middle story. Excuse me. See this bar? I killed a man for it. <laughs> no, no. I kid, I kid. <laughs> he is dead, though. <laughs> now, let me know when you're ready to order. Definitely want a beer. Let's see what else. Dirty? Oh, yeah, I want some dirty water. Well, I could use dirty water for something, I guess. Hmm. Ah, that's good for now. Oh, I'm so curious. I'm exploring a laundry. Oh, 
order dinner. Yeah, okay, so this is like a the hotel. I'm gonna sit down I'm gonna sit down and have a beer and eat something at this fancy restaurant. Nobody to join me? Where's dog meat? The fuck is a Tato? Alright, so... Alright, go to Piper's office. this I think it's the outfield Oh, this is so cool. I was wondering how they were going to bring Fenway into the game. All right, let me find Piper's office. Piper's office should be right up here. Jesus Christ, the fuck did that? Okay, show's over. There are no sins in Diamond City. Hear me? Just you folks in your damn paranoia. Gee, what a dick. Now, what about negotiation? Excuse me. Move along! Pig. Alright, so. Where's Piper's office at? Guy yeah, blew the brother's yeah. blew his brother's head off. Hello. Maybe it's on the other side. Ah. Unless this is it. This is like me in, in real life, GPS. I get to my destination and I cannot find the destination still.
Is this her? Why are you calling me that? Because you're a vault dweller. <laughs> I know you're not wearing the blue jumpsuit right now, but the pit boy and the fish out of water look. Dead boys. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what. I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. that gave us this lovely landscape of demolished buildings and nuclear radiation every 10 feet? You're telling me you saw everything before they blasted it into pieces? Yes. I'm over 200 years old. Oh my god. The man has died. So, so you've seen, seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. City. How, How does it compare to your old life? I've been having too much fun blowing things up to think about it. Gotta make my job hard for me, huh? All right, if that's the quote, that's the quote. Now, I already know you're looking for your son, Sean. Do you suspect the Institute was involved in his kidnapping? The Institute? Institute? Who were they? That blue is the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth. No one really knows who. Where they are, but their hands are all over. Since, since they're in the lab to do the Institute's dirty work. Sometimes they even replace a person with a double. A little cardboard agent or whatever suspect. No, not everything that goes wrong has to be behind it, but there's always a chance. That's why I'm asking. Sure sounds like they might be. <laughs> and people wonder why I can't just look the other way. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement that I didn't say The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored and hollow. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who lost a loved one or might be too scared or too numb to go on? Look for them. Just keep going. That's all I need. We're all just doing what we have to, huh? I think my readers do really bad. That's, That's everything. It's, it's gonna take some time to put this all together, together but I think your story is gonna be plenty to talk about. Anyway, anyway I, I agreed to come, come with you, right? right? Watch, Watch your back. back. Just, just say, say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where the story goes next. Mm hmm She wants a cozy, good story. She can tag along. Hey, Piper. my way? I don't know where I'm going, but... Are you sure you want to travel with me? Well, it's bad, or get back to writing the paper. I guess the paper can wait. Sure, let's go. Will do. I'm not really ready. Oh, sorry, boy. Time to get home. No. Oh, I forgot I can't. I can only take one person with me. What just happened? I didn't choose anything. 
Damn it. Hey. Oh, stay. Is she like a dog now? I can tell her commander to stay and go? I don't think so. Wait there. Wait. Uh, so I guess dog meat's gonna be a get a break. Come on. can't really read that. Noodles. We all eat them. We all love them. And Diamond City's Power Noodles has supplied this um, sustenance for the past 15 years from the stilted mechanical candidates of Takahashi's programmed Japanese and to the fragrant steam that wafts from each bowl into the um, something rather tang of each delicious mouthful. The ordering and eating of noodles is but one of many shared human experiences, or is it? Now I was struck by this very question, as I sat at the counter of Power Noodles last Wednesday night, just after 5 o'clock p.m., enjoying a dinner I had so many times before. That is when I noticed our very own mayor... Uh, McDoe saddled up to a stool and engaged in the very same ritual, right hand extending, mouth opening, teeth chewing, yes, eating noodles. A shared experience of almost every Diamond City resident. What's in those noodles? So it must have also seemed to the residents of Diamond City. Nearly 60 years ago, on an uncharacteristically warm May evening in Za, as they sat around this very same counter. But that was before the days of Takahashi and his noodles when the bar served hot noodles, served not noodles, but ice cold Nuka Colas, frothy beers, and stiff shots of whiskey. And the barman's name was Henry, and that might be facilitated the shared human experiences of drinking, smoking, talking, and laughing, that is, until tragedy struck. There aren't many among us who are even old enough to remember that yeah, evening, although some of the city's ghoul residents certainly could have, had they not been forcibly removed, thanks to Mayor McDowell's anti-ghoul decree of what the hell is that said? 2282? But there is one person among us who does remember distinctly the events of the evening respected Matriarch Eustace Hawthorne, who recounted her story in a public occurrences exclusive interview. So, oh, I was there all night. Oh, I was there all right, sitting right at the bar, as sure as you are sitting in front of me now. I'm 22 years old, or so, and just looking to have a good time. I was safe behind the wall, we were all, so what was the harm? And let me tell you that Mr. Carter made it easy. He came into town earlier that day, said he was from out west. Somewhere, sorry about that, cut my mic off. It didn't really matter. So what did matter was his smile and his laugh and the way he'd make everyone feel at ease. That night at the bar, we all just sort of crowded around him. Everyone wanted to exchange a word. 
or hear about the state of the Commonwealth. And Mr. Carter, he was all too happy to oblige. So it was just so wonderful. Ooh. Until it wasn't. Those damn noodles. Yustance continued her account of that evening and the moment when things turned sinister and the truth about Mr. Carter was revealed. We'd been drinking and carrying on. Must have been three hours. Yeah, Mr. Carter had four or five drinks in that time. He seemed a bit drunk, I guess like the rest of us, then something just sort of happened. He was smiling, but the smile sort of went from his face all in an instant. And then his cheeks started twitching, kind of funny. And I remember watching him, I remember watching him clear as if it happened just yesterday. He reached inside his coat and took out a revolver, and then BAM! He shot Henry, the barman, right in the head. Didn't hesitate. Didn't show any emotion. Mr. Carter killed Henry as casually as if he were paying him for a drink, but his cheek never did stop twitching. Let me tell you. Hell broke loose, hell broke loose after that. This is a long story. Alright, so what Estes is describing is, of course, is the infamous event known as the Broken Mask. So when the people of the Commonwealth learned for the first time that the Institute, the shadowy scientific organization responsible for the creation of combat androids, had actually succeeded in creating a model so advanced it could efforts effortlessly filtrate human society. So as a robot, Mr. Carter was a robot. Unbeknownst to the people of Diamond City, the Institute had somehow evolved their androids into the true synthetic humans since. After he shot Henry, after he shot Henry, that Mr. Carter shot three or four other people too. Like I said, all hell broke loose. The guards came running, they opened fire, and Mr. Carter, he kept shooting and throwing people around left and right. Finally, those guards put him down. It seemed like they had killed a man who had flipped his lid, gone crazy, and he lay there like a dead crazy man, sure enough. God, it was horrible. But then we saw the plastic and the metal. This was one of them early synths, you see. And we realized it wasn't a man at all, it was a robot. The Institute wasn't just out there. The Institute was everywhere now among us. It was never determined precisely why the sense, known as Mr. Carter, went on his killing spree. Some, some suggested he had somehow been remotely controlled by the Institute who wanted to test his combat effectiveness. Still, others felt he had simply malfunctioned, a hypothesis supported by twitching cheek, and was never meant to kill anyone, but at that time, the why hardly seemed important. Alright, so what mattered was the humans of the Commonwealth had been truly infiltrated by an organization whose intentions and motives were, and still are, a complete mystery using a model of sense even less advanced than the ones the Institute has in service today. Oh, I did not mean to leave it. I forget what page I was on.
Okay, so let me see what the plan is here. Fire support. Proceed to Cambridge Police Station for fire support. Where's that at? So I'm down here. Raider Troubles at Oberlin Station. Alright, go to Valentine's Detective Agency. Okay, I'm going to do this before I uh, close out this video. So it's just to the left. I think his office is back here somewhere. Oh, here it is. Told you your luck wouldn't last forever. Started Road to Freedom. Something wrong. Coming in from the right. Well, sorry, office is closed. I know you must be busy, but I won't take much of your time, miss. It's important. You're, You're right. right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude, but it's a detective. It's gone missing. Nikki missing. Do you have any idea how I could find him? He disappeared working a case. Skinny Malone. Oh, yeah. Hey, I'd love to help. But if there's a small matter of expenses. Oh no. Okay, you would be fine, Nick. But it's going to be a hundred cows. That's the reward, and it's not under negotiation. Who is this skinny Malone? I don't know much about him, but he's a good neighbor, and that means he's in the well best suits and machine guns full of buggery. You said Malone's a good neighbor? Yeah, it's a tough neighborhood. Northeast away. People with power there turn off two things. Style and body count. Sure. Thank you. Nick should be easy to spot. He's always wearing an old hat and trench coat get up. Please, hurry. 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 Alrighty, so I've got to go find the detective so I can find Sean. What did Piper go to? Uh, unlikely Valentine. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you liked the video, please share and uh, hit that thumbs up. Um, happy gaming.